Munchkins and viewers alike, it's me Munchie and welcome to the channel. We have two rescues to talk through and I'm going to make this very quick. I'm going to show you the hamster first and then explain the situation. You might be wondering, wh where are they? Those two I've seen before Munchie, those two 10 gallon tanks over there. Where's the new one? Well, here they are. One hamster's in here, she is sleeping right now. And then the other one is down here. I want to at least let you see her and then I want her to settle in. See, when I bring them home, I don't immediately put them inside the new enclosure. I want them to be able to kind of de-escalate the car ride just because car rides are very stressful. And unfortunately, I was stuck in traffic, but they were located just 30 minutes away from one another. So I picked them up at the same time and I'm so glad to have helped them. So here we go. I forgot my carrier, so I had to buy this just briefly because I don't like putting them in stuff that is like this because they can easily chew. I'd rather have them be in a plastic container where it's much harder to get out of. This is what she looks like. And yeah, she did not come with anything but food, unfortunately. Oh, oh, she's a satin. Look at her. Oh, hi. Not my face. Look at that face. Ah, look at that face. She's like, what's happening? She's a little nervous. She is on the younger side, definitely. I can feel that she's not very comfortable in my hands because she's doing that thing where kind of having like that balance issue, oh, <laughs> where she's jittery. It feels like she's jittery. Now she's on me. Hi, sweetie. So yeah, she has slight shine in her coat. So she is part satin. She actually looks really healthy, hi. And she is almost a full band. She's half banded because this breaks up the band right here. Unfortunately, she did come with, and I don't know if you can see all the way up there, but she came with Oxbow food. So she might not be growing as quickly as she should, but I found out guys, Oxbow changed their formula and did not make a mention of it on their packaging. I hate it when companies do that where they do not announce when there is a change in ingredients because that can really throw off an animal who's currently on that. Uh, food. Do the scruff technique now. You guys have seen, hopefully seen my video of how to scruff a hamster for health and tooth checks. But all you do is you scruff the back here and flip them over. That way you can check their little pads. You can check to see if they're male or female. She is clearly a female. I'm gonna do it one more time because I didn't see the teeth. Teeth are looking a little long. Now, because I don't know what her setup is, we cannot really judge, but she was in what looked like a pretty big tank and she did look like she had the right amount of stuff. She just needed a new home, unfortunately, and it's because of cats. So the first one was very nice. She was just happy that she got picked up by someone like me, which is the hamster lady. <laughs> oh, I am so sorry. Oh, you probably hear the other hamster. Yeah, she can hear you. Yeah, there might be some squeaks tonight, but I'm just gonna go put her back and then we're also gonna pick out a name for her. All right, let's see. She is put away. This hamster I'm a little worried about because when I picked up and I saw that the hamster came out, this hamster looked very, very tiny. And also I saw teeth issues. And I also questioned whether or not this could be part brachycephalic or could just be a hamster with some nutritional issues developed poorly in the womb. As you can see, there is a theme going on as of late, PetSmart. I hate this cage, but this cage does provide more pan bedding depth and there is also separation. So it's not really getting dirty down here compared to the top to top. Seems to be where hamsters go to pee. The reason why they weren't rehoming was because they were just too busy with work. I've heard this a lot from people around my age that they're too busy because of work. Now, whether or not they work nights, evenings, mornings, these guys are nocturnal. You don't really need to interact with them until maybe nighttime and you don't have to like interact with them for very long, just like half an hour at night or even, you know, 15 minutes should be enough where you can handle, smell, sniff, watch, appreciate them. But this person did tell me that this hamster has tried many times to sneak out and these got popped off by the hamster. Now that's poor design if these are popping off. So that's why there's a bunch of duct tape. If there's duct tape on an enclosure, throw it out. You do not need to duct tape it because that means it is unsafe already. So don't ever do that. And this part right here actually came out as I was setting it down. So look how easy it is to just have that come loose. And it's because they've been chewing on it. 
you can see. And this got waterlogged up here. So it wasn't really just looking like this, but it's it's been waterlogged. So I'm just gonna take the top off. Oh yeah, it can spin. Okay, at least this wheel can spin. Unlike the other one, which was disappointing to find out. These two people that I met today were very sweet. So they were just really, or, or at least this one right here, was just really uneducated about what they absolutely need. I believe it is a her. I think they named her Lola, but we're not gonna keep that name. Now, in order for me to get this open, push this and pull. So I'm just gonna try to be as gentle as possible. So here we go. Oh, it's not coming out still. I, oh! <laughs> It. Oh no, this is not what I wanted. We're gonna do this a little bit quick because I do need to check the teeth. Definitely a female. Definitely a female. Because boys don't smell musky, nor do they produce a little creamy substance. So. I'm just cutting. I'm just cutting. Oh. Yeah, look at her teeth. She does not look like a brachy, but it looks like she might be on the smaller side, not really well developed. We're gonna keep an eye on those teeth though. They look like they are very brittle. Let me just see if I can place her in her enclosure up there. Ooh, super musky, oh my God. She did not come with food. So this is all that she came with. So don't know what they were feeding her. However, this doesn't look too bad when it comes to what I see inside of here. So there was no chew toys inside of here that I can see. And this does not count as a chew toy because it is heart, like, yes, it has wood, but it also has plastic. So it's like a plastic wood combination. I forgot what it's exactly called, but I'm just kind of fishing around in here because I wanna see if there's anything like a chew toy, but there isn't. But at least there is, I think this is five inches of bedding here, if I remember correctly, four or five inches. And that's not that bad. I do appreciate that they at least provided more when it comes to the pan depth compared to something over there or up top here, even though I got rid of a lot of that because I tend to put their bedding in with the new enclosure. And so I took some bedding out, but yeah, stuff like that that's just so flat. These are burrow animals. Please provide them with burrow materials so they can actually make burrows. Anyways, let me go wash up a little bit, throw this out, and then I'll come back to talk to you more about this one's intake story. So both of these animals we found on Craigslist and the one that was in the enclosure I'll talk about now. This ad only said hamster cage plus a picture of an emoji hamster and so I inquired and it says come with cage small bag of chews for a hamster and then I also found this chew hanging I guess I wasn't paying attention when I was trying to ransack the enclosure but anyways they said that they had her for three months and can't have them anymore in their house and they believe that she's a Siberian hamster, which again, that is wrong. This is like the second time this month that somebody has misidentified the species of hamster that they have. This is a Syrian hamster, not a Siberian hamster. Siberian hamsters are the dwarf hamsters. So you don't really hear that term a lot. So that is probably why it gets very confusing where you're like, there's no such thing as the Siberian hamster. That's also a nickname for, I believe it's the winter white. That is incorrect, it is a Syrian hamster. And they just said that she was young. And if they only had her for about three months and usually Petco or PetSmart, when they get in very young hamsters, they are at least the minimum of five weeks old. So we can estimate that she's probably about four months comparatively of the size and just with her teeth issues that she's got going on right there. When I picked them up, um, it was just a house and they were renting part of the house. There was two people that were originally rehoming the hamster, one male, one female, and they just seemed like they genuinely cared. The person didn't like at least give me educational advice about 
they're nocturnal, they come out at night, and it was just a nice, pleasant interaction overall. So I'm glad we were able to help them out with that. But thanks guys so much. Leave a like if you would like to show support for the channel and the rescue. Comment down below with anything you'd like to say. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to name them off camera because I've never had this issue where I'm like, oh, I'm naming so many animals all at once and I've used so many names and we've like saved and rehomed so many animals. It's like, I'm running out of names. So I'll see you around. Oh, and subscribe if you're new here, if you wanna watch more of this and be a part of the Bunchkin family. Thanks guys, bye, thank you, see you later. Adios, I'm really tired. Oh my gosh, I am just, I would lay down completely on this floor, but it is now really dirty. But I just, I need a rest. I'm tired now. Driving is fun, but traffic is not. Bye.